Hello learners, hope everyone is doing well. So this question states that trains is a list that contains the information about trains associated with the station SDN. Specifically each element in this list is another list and here we can see that it contains the arrival and departure information. If the arrival or departure time is empty, it is represented as none. Now why would the arrival or departure time not be present? So say the train starts at this particular station, we can see that there will be no arrival time, only a departure time for this particular train. So here the arrival will be none. And say this train decides to end its journey at this particular station, it will have an arrival time but the departure time will be none. So using this logic, let's uh, get into this question. So the first line we can see that flag 1 is given the variable false and flag 2 is given the boolean true. And we initialize count to 0. For each x in trains, so this is just a reminder here that x is an iterator and it iterates through this list of trains and it at each iteration it has the value of a list which contains two elements that is the arrival and departure timings of each train now moving on to the question if the first element of x is none or the last element of x is none flag 1 is equal to true so as I explained in the beginning that if the arrival or the departure is given as none which means the train has chosen this station as its starting or end point of its journey. So only in this case will it will flag 1 be given the boolean true. Now there is an else statement here. So the else statement means that the train has just passed through the station and has not chosen this station to be its starting or ending point. In that case count is incremented by 1. Now once this for each loop is completed and we exit this loop, we see that if count is equal to the length of trains. So the length of trains means the number of lists that are present inside this larger list called trains so which means that if all the trains have only decided to pass through the station the count becomes equal to the length of trains in that case flag 2 is overturned to be false so getting into the questions we see that the first question states which of the following statements about the variable flag 1 is true at the end of execution of the above pseudocode. Now the first option reads, it is true if and only if station is a starting or ending station for at least one train in this list. So we can see that if just one train were to stop or start at this particular station, we see that flag 1 is given true. So we don't need to go any further, we can see that this is your correct option. Let me just erase this. Now moving on to the second question, it states that what does the variable count represent at the end of execution of the above pseudocode? So as I explained, count is the number of trains that have chosen just to pass through the station and has not chosen this station for its ending or starting journey. So we can see from the options that option number 4 is the correct answer which states it is the number of trains for which STN is neither a starting nor an ending station. So this is your correct answer. Now moving on to the third question. It reads that at the end of execution of the above code, 
what can be said about the values stored in the boolean variables flag 1 and flag 2 so let's go back to the code and let's have a look now if there were a train that would choose stn as its first or last destination flag 1 would be true and we see that flag 1 flag 2 pardon me is already given the value true and in case that any of these trains were to start or stop at the station the count would not be equal to the length of trains which means flag 1 and flag 2 would have the same value so let's see in the case that all trains would just pass through this station stn so initially we have given flag 1 as false and if all trains were just to pass through the station flag 1 would remain false as it would never enter this if statement and it would always enter this else and increment the value of count until the end of the list called trains so in that case the value of count would be equal to the length of the list trains in that case flag 2 would be overturned to false so in this case too flag 1 and flag 2 will have the same boolean value which is false so from the given options we can see that for question number 3 the correct answer is option 1 which states flag 1 and flag 2 always store the same value Thank you learners.